this is Al Aki with Origami by Aki. Today we're going to make the Origami Bouncing Frog. Okay, we're going to start with a square sheet of paper, like most origami. However, for the Bouncing Frog, we actually need a rectangle. So to do that, you would, if you start with a square sheet of paper, you would just fold it in half and then cut it along that edge so you'd come up with two possible frogs. <laughs> so we'll start with the uh, this and you can only uh, only one side is going to show and you could also by the way use a dollar bill but what you do is you just fold one corner back unfold that and then fold the other corner in the other direction make sure it comes to a point here and then what we're going to do is make a reverse fold going through those two where they intersect. So we have these two folds making it a little extra and what we're going to do is turn the paper over. We're going to fold this paper back across so it goes through that intersection. So it looks like that. And then all you do is take your index finger and just kind of poke it through that point here and you'll see that it everything comes back so it naturally folds like this. So again we hit like this and we just poke that in and then everything comes so it folds nicely like that. And this is going to be the head of our bouncing frog. What we're going to do is these are going to be the two front legs. We're going to put our thumb down in the middle here and then bring this little leg out at an angle like this. There's one leg. Do the same thing on the other side. Again, put one finger in the middle and then just fold the one flap out at an angle. And here's our two front legs. And now to make the back leg or the back portion, we're going to take this bomb sheet, fold it about a little less than midway uh, to here and then we're going to fold the whole thing in half but all we're going to do is just make a little crease here so not you're not folding the whole thing just a little crease and the reason we do that is we're going to lift up our front legs here and bring this bottom half all the way to that crease so it's in the middle do the same thing on the other side, lift up our front leg here, take this and fold it all the way to the middle, crease it all the way up. Now we're going to take this bottom part and fold it to where the front legs start, like that. Now this is probably the only really difficult part of this. We're going to unfold this <coughs> and let me show you from here. We're going to hold this section here and same thing with the other side. We're going to bring it out at an angle so that these, they don't have to come to a point here, but you know, this does not come to a point. That's fine. And same thing over here. So it, what we did is we, we were like this, and we're going to fold this out so it looks like that. And now we're going to put our finger in the middle here, do the same thing we did for front legs. Take this little flap, fold it back at an angle, and make one back leg. Do the same thing on the other side. So we get our legs now. And what we're going to do now is fold it across where everything, where the legs all meet. Just fold it across like that. And now we're going to flip it over. So here's our head. This is, and we're going to make one more fold here. And the, the last fold is crucial because we do not want it to be in the middle here. We're going to make it a little bit lower than the middle. And I'll explain why in a minute. And to do that, just kind of, you know, as I said, make a little fold. Maybe it's like about here. I'm going to fold this back now. And you don't want to push this down too hard because otherwise he'll lose his bounciness. 
and all you do is take you can use two hands with this one to just hold it the other put your thumb lightly here and then your thumb is just going to go down an angle and then he bounces so this is al aki with origami by aki and that's how you make the origami bouncing frog